So now I'm here with Jake again, and we're just going to run through some guitars from his personal collection. So Jake, over to you, man. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Um, I'll go through the V first. Yeah, go um, for it. Yeah, this is one I use live um, occasionally, not as much as the others, but I do like to chuck it in, mainly because of the pickups. This one's got EMG 707s in it, which I right. get on with, but obviously having two guitars with the same pickups live works better. But uh, yeah, this is quite a uh, weird guitar. Um, it's an Imperion, which most people are going to go, what the is that yeah. um, it was a, a small like Italian made company mm -hmm. um, they used to make like custom made guitars um, they actually went bust for making uh, some pretty uh, poor quality guitars right, and uh, a lot of people off to be honest but um, yeah I got very lucky with this one this uh, yeah there's not really anything wrong with it I mean it, it was ridiculously cheap um, it's proper uh, through neck as well awesome yeah it's got nicer uh, Roman numeral on the 12th fret, which is great. Seven string again, of course. Lovely. Yeah, and it's just great shape, you know? Yeah, for sure. Have a massive sort of V when you're playing live. No, for yeah. sure. I mean, yeah. it, it does look quite different compared to, you know, like a, a, um, a BC Rich V or um, or even like an ESP even. And yeah, yeah. It, but then it's got like this kind of like traditional thing here. Yeah. That makes it look pretty sleek, I, yeah. I find. And like, I think with the string through body and the wings, Yeah. That yeah, must make it quite resonant. Oh yeah, you know, from a tone uh, absolutely. Yeah, I, right. I mean, it, it sounds amazing. To be fair, um, yeah, it's um, it's been quite hard to find a case for this one though, because actually, like the V points are not they're not like uh, traditional. Traditional, they're not like matched up. Like, so if you were to stand this guitar up, it'd lean one way. Yeah, as you, as you see, cause yeah. It's like, it's almost yeah. quite offset from the yeah. bottom. You can sort of see it because you've got where the strings go here yeah. in terms of for when the strings feed into the body, but then the actual cutaway is a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It's, your, it's, it's, it's not. Quite it's quirky, not quirky, isn't it? And yeah. it's not quite a Rhodes, <laughs> no. but it's very much like it's. It's like the the kid sister of it almost. Yeah. It's pretty awesome, man. But um, I, I mean, out of all the guitars I got, this is obviously the the hardest to. Uh, replace if anything goes no, wrong, which course. is one of the reasons I don't really uh, use it live so much, you know, just in case uh, someone decides to half inch it at a game or anything like that, you know. So how, how do you find, I know we touched upon this uh, previously mm. in terms of the EMGs and the Seymour Duncans, I mean in this case, I mean is it just because you, I guess you haven't had the chance to switch them out or you, yeah, they, do they, just, does um, it sound good enough? Yeah, I mean um, I, I I do quite like having guitars with this one pickups as well, is because you know you got sort of access to different tones then as well. Sure. And I, I mean, I have used this a gig sometimes, and I have swapped out the EMG because, it, I mean, it is literally two screws and like a little clip. It, it is easy to pop out, so I have put Duncan's in this in the past, you know, just to. Uh, just and to again, I, I only use a bridge pickup anyway, even though they are wired in in this guitar. Like I don't use it ever, so. You know, it's, it is quite easy to go from one to the other. So sure. yeah. And how balanced does it feel when you stand up with oh, it? Oh yeah, like, does this, it this guitar literally tip? weighs nothing. It, yeah, yeah it, this is balanced really well. Um, the only guitar I've had which wasn't too balanced was a Zyphos, right. but I found after moving the strap pins about, I've now got it uh, At set level, up. That makes so sense to you. I, I even tried um, in the past having a wireless like uh, strap okay. with some scuba diving weights in it because it's like a bag of like weights, but um, it was good and it did balance it, but it became a little bit too heavy in the end yeah, you know on the, on the old back when you're playing life you know awesome so, yeah. man no it looks like a killer piece of kit man and yeah, yeah it, obviously with that kind of shape must sound good man yeah so, definitely yeah so it's, let's uh let's, yeah, let's uh, see on. what else you got man sure so this is the only eight string i've got it's uh agile interceptor pro uh 28 and a half inch scale so proper uh Long, proper, beefy. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know. Is um, they come from a company called Rondo Music, which right. is based in uh, America. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is probably the most uh, professional level guitar I've got. You know, it's a five-piece through neck, um, and probably the one I use uh, the least as well, because <laughs> we uh, primarily sort of seven strings and eight strings. But I, I have been starting like a new project lately to do this. Um, I see. Yeah. Again, it's got EMGs in it, and I probably will swap them out for. Uh, Duncan's, or, or I'm probably going to put Dino Cazares Duncan's in this one, because uh, which I've got any other guitar we'll get to in a minute, because I just got a uh, lot more sort of uh, pick and hand articulation. I, I find um, so like I guess with agile guitars. I mean, I remember there was a wave of interest. There yeah. was quite a lot of stuff online about them around, I guess five or six years ago, just in terms of 
you know, being able to obtain guitars that were quite cheap but really, really well built, yeah. right, online, yeah. and a lot of players were using them, particularly their seven strings, particularly their eight strings. Um, what is it about this guitar that you particularly like that's just um, made it, you know, quite a seamless transition from seven to eight for you? Yeah, I, I mean, like, I, I wanted an eight string for years, but I wanted something decent, you know, and, and like you were sort of saying, you know, it's professional level guitars yeah. are more cheaper. I, I mean, this guitar, um, Obviously, it was in dollars, but it probably came to about a grand in you yeah, know, English money. Whereas, sure. if you had this exactly the same guitar and it said Ibanez on there or Jackson, you're talking three or four K, yeah, I would say. Yeah. So, um, it, for me, it was I wanted something that was decent. You know, I, if I was going to make the step from seven to eight, you know, I wanted to get on with it. I didn't want a cheap guitar, which is going to be horrible to play. So, I wanted to go for something decent and just, you know, agile to me. I, I loved the way they looked. I heard a lot of good things about them, good reviews on sort of YouTube and that. And yeah, they were affordable. So for, for sure. me, that was just the natural jump. No, oh, awesome. And yeah. let's talk about this bridge oh, because yeah. it's, I've never seen an eight, like Kayla's are pretty rare to kind of come by in the UK in particular. Like, I've not yeah. seen many people yeah, you know, like you hear the story of Kerry King saying like, well, you're either a Kayla or a Floyd guy, you know, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, no, G Gary instead, I mean, oh, but yeah yeah, 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 saying, you know, you're either a Kayla or a Floyd guy. It really depends on what you learn on. And I've yeah. never seen a Kayla eight string bridge yeah. before. Well, th so. This is the first Kayla I've ever had. Um, and to be honest, if, if I could have it on all my guitars, it, it's just absolutely, I mean, I've got this one locked off at the moment. You, that, that's the thing, it's so good. You can have it either as literally like a proper Floyd or you can have it as a fixed bridge. I mean, I've got this, there's literally just that Allen screw sure. in there, which you tighten down and it's fixed. Um, and yeah, it's literally only this bit here that moves. Right. So. Um, you know, and it, it stays perfectly in tune. So it, even with the uh, with the eight string, yeah, you're able to use it as a Floyd. Like you can literally do all the dive bombs and everything. Agile even do nine and ten string guitars, and they've got with custom made Kaylers for them. Wow, so even guitars insane. don't that loaded. It. It's it's absolutely great, and it, it's like uh, restringing. Like it's it's easier to restring than a bloody uh, really. Yeah, because um, the you literally put ball in there, and then that's all you got to do. Yeah. That's crazy because yeah. like I, there aren't as far as I know that many guitars on the market which like are eight string and give you that Floyd Rose yeah. element. I've seen like a rig rundown video where Javier Reyes uses uh, an ESP and it has like a proper Floyd on it. But like yeah. in the instance of because I guess that's something I'm kind of trying to figure out is like getting a guitar an eight string that allows yeah. me to you know do that sort of stuff with the lead stuff that I do so yeah, this is actually quite an interesting find for me personally <laughs> because I'm you're not having it no no of course not so it's literally yeah no of course I'm, I'm not going there but I think for me personally like having something that allows you to give you that sort of yeah. flexibility variation from a lead playing standpoint is a bit of a no-brainer to be yeah, honest yeah it's I, I couldn't recommend them more really to be honest I, I mean I, I don't use it as much as I should um, but yeah, it's and I mean it, for me as well, it's, it's nice being able to have um, as I've got it set up at the moment, like fixed bridge. But it's a fixed bridge. But then I've got it st obviously still yeah. locked up here, and the fine tuners down here. So, so the tuning is just you know, it just does not go just out. Just does not go you, out. You know, so that even if you proper give it some, it, it stays in tune perfectly. That's awesome, you know? man. That is amazing. Yeah, cool. I, I couldn't sing the Kayla's praises more. To be fair, like I said, I'd have them in all my guitars there. Uh, if I could. Yeah, because it's just yeah. this mass, right? That literally is just... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just stuck yeah. on the guitar. And like, yeah, it's literally just this little cam here that moves, you know? It's not like the whole thing, like right. you've got the Floyd, you So know? how does it compare into, because I've never used the Kayla before in terms of like, okay, if you're using it for a Floyd, yeah. you know, bending up and bending down, can you still get the same range of motion? Uh, or absolutely, is... absolutely same range of motion. You can get all the, you can do all the same crazy dime bags or, you know, dime bag sort of... Uh, yeah dive bombs and all that you know is uh, is absolutely great but like yeah it's only this bit moves i mean you've got like there's like several places you can put the actual bar in as well oh, right so, okay like, you know, if you, i don't know why you'd have it up there but yeah if you wanted to you could you know what i mean so awesome. yeah awesome no that's amazing man yeah. okay nice one so let's uh move on to the final yeah, guitar for one. now okay so uh this is quite an interesting one. Yeah. Um, this is like a entry level sort of Ibanez 
seven string is seven three two one. Yep. Um, and originally it had one of those hip shot bridges in it, but I mean the proper yep. cheap, yeah, nasty yeah, yeah, yeah. ones where like you got the Allen screws that like, you do a palm really mute and it's like oh into your hand. So uh, when I was nineteen and had a good decent workshop at work, I was I had a wood router and I thought fuck it, I'm gonna go for it. So I hand routed out cavity and I put Floyd in there. I mean it's quite um. Wow. A bodge, to be fair, and a met, especially on the back. I don't know if you can see that. But, oh my gosh! Wow. Uh, but yeah, but um, yeah. So uh, that's what happened. Uh, but hilarious, it actually stays in tune amazingly, and Amazing. it works really well. Is that an original Floyd, or is it? No, nah, it, it's, it's, it's only sort of like a cheapy DNA. You know, I didn't want to because okay. it's only like a two hundred pound guitar. Like yeah, yeah, new, yeah. I didn't want to go put in decent Floyds in it. It was only sort of forty quid. But uh, oh, awesome. yeah. But uh, now when I got pickups in this one, these are the Dino Cazares Blackouts. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just I, I have this guitar in A and I just mainly use it for mucking about playing loads of Fifth Factory, to be honest. And oh, then wicked. it's just wicked for that, you know, it just picks up your pick in hand, fantastic. And again, like it's just one volume. Um, pickup is actually wired in in this one, so it's a three way selector. Sure. Um, tone's gone, but uh, as you can see, the hole's there. But uh, I thought. So how do you with, find. Like, the makeshift. For it. How do you find the Dino Cazares pickups? compared to like just the standard blackouts that you use in your other guitar? Yeah, um, personally, I prefer the standard blackouts. I think they've got a lot more tone, but with the Dino ones, it's just there's so much clarity in them. It's like, for me, it's almost a little bit too much, but I, I mean, literally, anything you do on your pick and hand, any noise, it picks it up. I've never heard a pickup with so much pick and hand articulation. You know, it's absolutely crazy, to be completely honest. Awesome, man. Yeah. Great. No, that and is that a bolt on or yeah, it's only a bolt on. Like I said, it's it's only like a really you know they're sort of two hundred pound new. You know, if you're mm -hmm. gonna think, oh, I want to go to seven string, but don't want to spend loads of money. This is sort of thing you get, one, you know, yeah. entry level sort of guitar. But no, it's one I've had obviously for a long time, and I thought, how can I modify this to get it where uh, I want? I like, quite like uh, pissing about with things and <laughs> you know, doing sure. different things to it. So yeah, that's what I did. Awesome, man. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much for showing us your collection, man. Okay guys, so I'm back here with Gareth and we're just gonna go through his personal collection of guitars that he wants to show. So pick one and let's go for it, man. Okay, so maybe we can start with this one. Sure. This is a BC Rich Mockingbird, a Pro X, a three humbuckers, a, a mahogany body, quilted, mm -hmm. quilted maple top, all neck through. It looks like a, a, like a stunning piece of furniture. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like it, it's very, very regal, royal looking, yeah, like yeah, well it's, built. It's, uh, yeah, is it handmade really nice. or is it? Uh, do you know? I'm not too sure. It was crafted in Korea, so oh, okay. probably not. No, probably not, but it looks. But yeah, really nice piece and quite heavy as well. Oh, wow, yeah. For sure. That is yeah. a sl solid slab of yeah. wood right 22, there. 22 frets, 24 and 3 quarter inch scale, but it's quite weighty. I think the thing that gets gets me like straight away is just actually how close to a Les Paul this feels. Yeah, it does. For real. It. Like in terms mm -hmm. of okay, you've got this kind of contour with the body here, but just in terms of the fact that you have this sort of configuration and yeah, even the neck tell. profile. Yeah. Like straight away feels very like Les Paulish SG yeah. almost SG, as well. Yeah, yeah. For sure. And yeah. then so what is this got like is it say like a so two volume two, two volume, tone two tone yeah sure and two volume two tone do you know what pickups these are so they came with uh i think it was just some stock bc rich i kept the two stock ones there because that's, that's quite a nice smooth buttery kind of sounding mm -hmm. uh neck pickup but for the bridge i got a bare knuckle black dog in there sure yeah i like to I like to experiment with pickups. I got some Damasio pickups, some Seymour Duncan, and a Black Dog. For, for me, uh, a really quite quite a high output pickup. Yes, yeah, be really good, really yeah. really good pickup. So, yeah. do you? I mean, this guitar. I mean, I think it's true to E, right? So yeah, that'd be E standard. So yeah. this would be E standard. Kinda... So then using something quite high output i mean does it mm. tailor to um, do you use this for anything else like well that? i used to play that quite a lot in uh, a couple of previous bands that i was sure. in it's just kind of sat there in the uh in the guitar stand at my house at the moment but i do play it when i'm at, when i'm at home mm. and i guess like despite like the odd body shape it's this really is actually comfortable. really comfortable it's really comfortable isn't and it? like if i'm playing in like uh you know just relaxing just not really thinking about it the first thing i do put it on it 
sits perfectly well yeah, with my body. Yeah, it does. The if I try, if I try the classical position here, it still feels really good. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like as obtrusive as it potentially yeah, could look, right? Yeah, like, yeah. So they've really thought about it in it's that quite, sense. It's quite classy, yet still has that modern kind of metal look to it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. No, this is, this is awesome, man. I quite like the fact that the over here, like the the, the controls are kind of like in the body, like yeah, they're kind of like receptive like, to the body yeah, and all that yeah. sort of stuff. And even though it's, you know, built in career, it's still, it, it feels like a high quality, you yeah. know, quite high quality spec instrument, you know, and yeah, I was well. actually quite surprised when you did say, but it's, this is awesome. It it's, sounds great as well. I used to play, that guitar in I think it was drop C yeah yeah uh, yeah and imagine with a body this killer. big like drop absolutely drop C awesome. would just absolutely just sound it, monstrous it would slam it man yeah. sounds so good cool man and then so what about brilliant. this guitar here so this this is just like a little collector's for me I I hardly play it but this is probably a, my tribute to the late Chuck Shouldner of death of course of course there's a BC Rich Stealth yeah this is a NJ series really old model sure it's got the uh i think it's a serial number on the back there the bolt on neck made in japan so right <laughs> awesome yeah light as a feather yeah i'm actually quite light surprised by that yeah. and it's uh, it does look very um even the the volume the volume and tone <laughs> yeah. controls and that very little, retro that little uh almost like pig guard i kind of you know kind of thing it looks very, very retro for what yeah. it is with this type of bridge as well. Yeah. And it's not, but it doesn't feel, again, like much like this guitar, it doesn't feel obtrusive. It doesn't feel like every, you know, it, it looks feel intimidating. Wrong. Yeah, it does look, the it does look like, it does look like a weapon. Oh, wow, yeah. Well, it does look like, where am I going to sit with that kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, for but sure. But it's actually really comfy yeah. like, straight away. And, and despite like the neck having quite a round, profile it actually feels really comfortable mm. you know which is what i'm quite surprised by do you know what pickups these are i couldn't tell you they look similar to like a damasio right maybe there are damasio but yeah i uh i couldn't tell you sure and yeah like a, a the headstock is probably the best feature of it yeah i've never seen with the, the, with the, the bc rich logo, logo like, that. like that mother of pearl as well wow very, very cool, man. Very, very cool. Yeah. Awesome, man. No, these, this, this is actually quite the collection. And yeah, obviously it says made in Japan right there. So yeah, uh, quality instrument right there for sure, man. Awesome. Nice one. Thanks, man. Cool.